because of where I'm coming from, I can't sleep anywhere. I don't care about what I wear. Because I, I saw me going to school with a torn uniform. I saw me going to school without a bag. You know, there's this rice that we have, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the 70 kg rice yes. bag, you bag. can see. Mm. Like, that's how I used to go to school. My Carrying the, your books Carrying there. your books in there. And that is why I always say I've tasted poverty before. And I don't want to go back. There's a video that they are saying that I have HIV. And um, they are using my videos. So there's a lawyer who reached out to me today yeah. and said, um, is it possible if I can sue these people on your behalf? This is the guy who doesn't even live in China anymore. So they're saying that I'm spreading HIV. So this is a kind of propaganda that they do for anti-black or anti-Africans in China. I feel like African leaders need to start respecting themselves. And believe me, if you guys come together, and you ask yourself, why are they looking for all the 54 countries for us to sit down with one person? That means it's about time you guys come together, yeah. build one economy, build one currency, speak one language, trade among yourself. Mm. And that's when you can be powerful and say that, you know what, this is the leader of the African Union. Yes. If, if China is looking for us, this president needs to go. Yes. One to one. One to one. Why 54 to one? Your relationship with one other content creator that I respect so much. Trudy, but you guys, you are such a powerhouse. You, know? yeah. you make <laughs> a you. very beautiful couple. Thank you. What, what brings you together? What gels your relationship? I think I would say God hmm. first because um, we have the same beliefs. I put God first in everything oh, yeah. that I do. She put God first in yes. everything she does. You know, I I just love her not because of YouTube. I love her just because of who she is. Yeah. A uh, very good morning to you, Team LNN, and welcome to today's episode of LNN. LNS. Guy, I'm even confused, guys. It gives me great honor to introduce you to my guest today because when I tell you, he has inspired me. I talked to him earlier and I told him, you are the person that made me branch out. I saw what you were doing. I told myself I can do it. And now today, I'm, I don't know. I, I, to, I told him it's like I'm sitting with Denzel wow. Washington right now. This is how much I admire him, his consistency, his level of discipline the way he has been able to put Africa Hapokwa map guys may have great love and admiration for this man and I don't know how he does it but he will be talking to us about that but before I even let him introduce himself guys I gotta pay some bills here allow me to say thank you to our partners of today's episode Lemonade Finance they are a mobile money app that allows you to send money to your loved ones from America Canada UK and they give you the best of Rates, which means if today the dollar is 150 you get it with that best rate and zero fee at all you do not get to send to use any money to send money to your loved one and they get to receive receive it within three to five minutes and guys i want you to go and use my referral code lean so that you're able to get 10 percent cash back on every 100 dollars pounds or canadian dollar that you use and you can download the app it's pinned on the comment section and just to thank you guys who reached out and you said lean please bring for us what my i appreciate you you already <laughs> know who i'm talking about so sorry if today i'm so overly excited <laughs> Oh forgive me i'm meeting a fan of a fan so let my guest today introduce himself oh to <laughs> 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 you know, that's a Lynn, the Come energy on. is on another level you know no, listen I, I i've heard your intro but i just want to tell you that i'm a big fan before you, you even continue I, i'm a big fan i think i even gave you a shout out on my channel that yes. you are the only kenyan channel that i watch Man. i mean i'm a guy who always looking for something to inspire me i'm that guy who doesn't like drama yes. so when i was looking for something to watch it's your channel and look at you saying that ah, i inspired you like you just wanted you to cry you know I, I was like no i need to hold myself you know because i don't want to cry you do you're amazing i don't know like the only thing i know about you 
is that you are what Maya. That's the only thing. But really? let me tell you what <laughs> you've done for me. Hmm. You made me sit back and look at my life, the trajectory, and you made me tell myself, Lynn, what if you branch out? What's the, what's the worst that can happen? I, I follow you religiously. I watch your video. I see you interviewing great people. And I always tell God, God, open doors for me the way you've wow. opened doors for what my So this is not like, this is me psyching you up because you are here. No. You are amazing. So take, wow. sorry, take your flowers. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you're just making me emotional, yes. you know. Uh, because for me, when I wake up every single day, it's all about what's next. What impact can I make in people's life? You know, sometimes you make impact in people's life, you don't even get a chance to hear it. Okay. So hearing it right in front of me, I mean, I'm like, oh my God. Jeez. Jeez. Thank you for making no. time. Yeah. Ah, come on. Give it, no, guys, also, he had to reschedule his flight to be here. He has a doctor's that, that, that shows he needs to go that to. That shows I'm a big fan. Here. You know, that shows no, I'm a big fan. That shows God Be answers prayers. Oh, yeah. That's, that, that's I, a good know, answer. You know, I have prayed for this. Hmm. I, when I tell you I follow your channel religiously, I'm not... Hmm. Guys, to we are supposed to cry ukombele, not here. When I tell you I follow your channel religiously, it's because to me there is a day. I was so broken and a friend of mine said, Lynn, just email Wardmire. Ask him. Ask him for tips, for guidance. And I sent that email. Ask him for tips, for guidance. Ask him for the up, downs, the upside of things. Wow. And you've done for on behalf of all African content creators. I don't want to talk about any other continent right now. On behalf of African content creators, you really are our godfather. You've set the path for ah, us. So man. we appreciate you. If I don't say that, stop. Nah, if, it's okay. If I don't say that, okay. I, I, I would be lying because Lean Google Network is because someone like Wardmire was there and I saw the way you were hustling for your content, country after country, trying to change the narrative, give our African brothers and sisters a voice. Wow. And I was like, God, so may God bless you, my friend. Thank you. And I appreciate you. Thank you. Take your blessings. Thank you. Now. Never, never been to an interview that I get emotional before the interview start. But um, I need to hold myself, yeah. man, you know. Lynn, thank you. Yes, we'll be right back, guys. Thank you. You, mean, you, you, you wake up every day yeah. knowing that this is what you want to do on, on your own. It's, it's just like what you do every day, right? But you, you don't know who you're inspiring. You don't know who you are impacting in their lives. And yes. when you get the chance to hear it, I'm like, oh, which means I can't even stop what I'm doing. You don't. Don't. You know, I, 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 we were making a joke with my friends on our way here, and I told them, guys, do you know what? Maya is an engineer. I always knew you, you had a backup yeah. plan. <laughs> like if things fail, I always, yeah. but now I'm convinced nothing fails yeah, if you exactly, put your mind into exactly, it. Exactly. Nothing fails if you exactly. put your mind into it. So Exactly, and especially when people that watch you, it feels like uh, we are waiting for the downfall, Yeah. but you keep moving. You know, I always tell people, whatever you do, just put God first. And if you have a pure heart and God is in it, you will never fail. Did you think that one day hmm. you are going to be the guy that puts Africa on the map? So today, I don't even feel like I'm that guy. So today, because I always tell people, I feel like it's God who is doing something. And he just decided, because God cannot come from heaven and do anything. I'm just more like a vessel that God is using. Because the people that I meet, the people that share their story, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve to be sitting down with people like this. But at the end of the day, they will see me and they'll be like, this is the guy that I want him to tell my story. I think there is this man in Ghana that I did his story. He has never been on camera. Never. But he felt like, 
there's only one person that I want him to tell my story, and that's Wadamaya. The guy invited me to his house. After I released the videos, everyone in Ghana was like, how did you do it? So I always see myself as a vessel God is using. Yeah. So I don't really take credit of anything. That's why even when he started talking, I feel like crying because I still don't see myself as a guy with a million subscribers. I still don't see myself as a, a celebrity kind of thing. Yeah. I am just the annoying village boy yes. from Ghana. On a journey to change the narrative. Yes. So doing God's work. Just doing God's work no. in another way. I That's say, it. For me, what I say, I'm grateful to the giver of the gift, not the gift itself. Wow. Because if I'm if I start obsessing over the gift, I'll forget who the giver of this gift mm. is, you know. Mm. So when I meet my clan, because honestly, you are my tribe, you are my clan. I feel with you I belong. Mm. I feel with you, you are the only content creator that understands why I don't want drama, I don't want chaos, I don't want That's this it. whole scar like That's I do it. I don't even want I want to be known as someone doing the work and I go home. I don't want the celebrity status, you know? So when I meet my clan Exactly. It is what it is. It I is mean, it is what the it goal is. is to make impact. The goal is for yes. your stories to go out there yeah. for me i just want to be known for what i do yes. not me as a person yeah. you know that's yeah. that's basically all i pray for yeah so i'm not interested in anybody's drama especially when i met my wife everyone was like this girl is this and that i'm like no oh. you know i don't want to get myself involved in anything yes. just know what am i as a guy who promote africa yeah. and that's it and that's it but let me take you back because mm. i gotta stop doing this interview for myself now <laughs> <laughs> and do it for you guys because I know you have. Yeah. But who, who, who is what Maya? Where did he grow up? What's I'll, his journey? I was born in a typical village in Takradi, Ahin Kofi Krom. Hmm. Um, went to school over there. And um, at some point, I got a chance to study abroad. Yes. So I went to China. And going to China, it's so funny that all I had was my flight ticket because my dad didn't have the money to pay my school fees. But I'm that guy who felt like I cannot make it in Africa. Yeah. I can only make it if I go abroad. You got a scholarship? I got a scholarship to study in the UK, Yeah. but visa denied. So visa denied, I was like, you know what? I've told all my friends that- Visa what? Visa denied. They denied they you denied visa? visa. Because I, my father never had a bank account. So they were looking for a bank statement because it was a half scholarship. Yeah. So at the end of the day, my father had only rural bank. So they ended up, not giving me the visa. So right from there, I found myself in China telling my uncle, please, I just want to get out of here because I've told all my friends that mm. I'm going abroad, so I'm not going to go to invest in yes. Ghana. Now my uncle told me, I can only give you your flight tickets. My first time on a plane from Ghana to China. I got to China, stayed for three months without going to school because I didn't have money to pay my fees. Oh. So I ended up staying at one place. That's how I, that's how I ended up learning Chinese. Just with the people that clean my um, my my dormitory that yes. time, they come, everyone is in school. I am in my dormitory. So they come, they sit next to me, teach me the language. So three months, my father had the money for me to um, pay the school fees, which yeah. I paid first six months. And that is the only school fees that my father paid for me till I graduated from university. The rest, I did all by myself. Oh. So living How? in China, mm -hmm. I used to sell hot dogs, you know, like <laughs> I, used to, I have pictures and videos. You can go check it out. I used to sell hot dogs. Um, I used to sell beggars, yes. you know, German. We say it's German hamburgers yes. and stuff. We sell it to Chinese people. Mm -hmm. I used to teach um, English in China to Chinese kids who want to learn how to say hello. How are you? I one of the biggest thing that happened to me was when I became a lecturer in my university. Yeah, when I became a lecturer in my university, the school fees was like the money, the article, the salary was yes. huge. You know, when I became a lecturer, um, the salary was huge. And that's how I even managed to pay most of my school fees. And also there's this business that I used to do. I bring students from Africa to China. Mm. And when they come, the school gives me 5% of their school fees oh. annually. So I use the 5% of their school fees. I, needed, I think... I even stopped taking that money after I graduated. Oh, really? So that's how, how? I, I managed to, I mean, live in China from 20, 
2018 to 2018. Yes. Yeah. How, how is China? Because there's always different stereotypes, misconceptions. <laughs> you know, they are racist, especially yeah. when it comes. How, how yeah. was your experience? I like, think for me, China was more of 50-50. Uh, I, I had a very great time in China. Yeah. I had Chinese <clears throat> people who really loved me for who I am. I have Chinese people who supported me throughout my whole journey in China. I think... Um, I had a Chinese mom. Yes. I had a, a professor who loved me as a son uh, to the extent that I did my thesis in Chinese. Ooh. Even though I was not like a Chinese student, but I did my thesis, defending in, my in thesis Chinese. in yes. Chinese. Uh, but apart from all of that, you know, China is also a racist country. I would say a bit of um, the people there are ignorant on how they see black people. Yeah. They don't think you are. They, they always see black people as inferior, you yes. know. They always, I mean, you'll be there and a Chinese person will just rub your skin and then look at his palm, whether it's going to be black or something like that. Um, you'll be there, they'll be touching your hair. Um, you can sit in a bus, train, and no one wants to sit next to you. I think one of my videos that actually yeah. even went viral was, yes, that one. was when those they videos. Were... Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's a country where, for me, when I see... Chinese people in Africa, and I see Africans like embracing them too much. I'm like, you guys don't know what your fellow Africans go through, in, through. Chi in China. If we can just do that a little bit, I think today, I'll tell you something that's happening today. I'm training in China, even though I've left China. There's a video that they are saying that I have HIV, and um, they are using my videos. So there's a lawyer who reached out to me today yeah. and said, um, Is it possible if I can sue these people on your behalf? Because I left China a long time ago. You know, but they're still like um, using my videos. Saying you have what? Yeah, HIV. You know, oh my goodness, there's no internet. I would have played. No. This is a, this is me, and uh, this is my oh. ex Chinese girlfriend. Uh, this is the guy yeah. spreading HIV in China. So yeah. there's a oh. more of an anti. If you have internet, I would they, have played it for you. It's okay. I'm gonna. I'm go you yeah, can forward I'll, I'll me. I'll forward it to you. I am gonna check. They are saying you are spreading yeah, I'm HIV. Spreading HIV. In... This is the guy who doesn't even live in China anymore. So they're saying that I'm spreading HIV. So this is a kind of propaganda that they do for anti-black or anti-Africans in China. What? And I have the lawyer reached out. They said, yes. I want to, if you can, you know, sign a contract. I don't mm -hmm. know if you can see this. Yes, I can see this. There's a lawyer saying that mm. if you can sue them or anything like yes. that. But, you know, this is a but struggle that Africans go through in China, but no yeah. one talks about it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's heartbreaking that we open the doors for them, but when we are there, we are treated like, you exactly. know, crap. You they don't know? care about you. Yeah. They don't care. And that's what I keep on telling African leaders. Chinese people don't care. You just, they're doing business with you, but they don't see you as a friend. That's it. You're not a human. Being. No, to them, they don't, they don't care. Yes. I, don't, I mean, I hate to talk about China, but they don't really care. Because yeah. I, I, all my friends are Chinese. I did business in China. I did schooling in China. What were you studying? I did aeronautical engineering. I'm an, I'm an aviation engineer. Oh, my <laughs> Aviation engineer. So, like you said, I had a backup. <laughs> yeah, you had a backup plan. <laughs> I had a backup plan. Yes. Yeah, but mm. apart from that, I mean, I had Chinese people who really loved me Love from who I am. Okay. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So, what made you leave China? And where, but before we even get to you leaving, talk to me about your dad and your family because wow. to me it feels like education mm. to your dad is very important. I know he's no longer with you, yeah. our condolences, but what kind of a family setup did you grant? What are your beliefs that made you want to push hard and hard? Are you, uh, you know, those kids who, daddy, I want a Maserati. Okay, what well, my <laughs> husband was saying, dad, I want a Range Rover. Have a Range Rover. Oh, yeah. Um, it was that family that had nothing. It was that family that at some point we slept one year without electricity. Um, it was that family that in during Christmas, that's the only time we get a chance to eat the meal that we want. The meal that we want, I'm talking about fufu with some meat, you know, in there. And this is the same time that there was a woman that my mom was owing. Um, she came and saw us eating because we used to eat together as a family. She came and just took the whole bowl and dropped it to the floor uh, by telling my mom, you owe me. And that money was 20 cities. I recently found out that the woman lived 
next to our house now. So I just found out two days ago. So I'm actually going to go see that woman once again as soon yeah. as I get back to Ghana. Yeah. It, it was that family that um, it was a humble beginning in terms of my, my dad loved everyone. My dad was a big fan of education to the extent that, that he can go out, see street kids, bring them to come and stay with us and take care of them to go to school, even though this guy does not have. But he was a PTA chairman. I don't know if you know, yes, parent, PTA, teachers parent teachers association teachers chairman or in the school around our yes. area. So because of that, he was taking all the kids mm -hmm. to the school, even mm -hmm. though he doesn't have the money. So I grew up with a big family. There are so many people that I, I grew up with. It's not like they are family members. But they stayed with us to, yeah. you know, so I, I can, because of where I'm coming from, I can sleep anywhere. I don't care about what I wear. Because I, I saw me going to school with a torn uniform. I saw me going to school without a bag. You know, there's this rice that we have, uh, the, 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 you know, the, the 70 kg rice yes. bag, you bag. can see. Mm. Like, that's how I used to go to school. My Carrying the, your books Carrying there? your books in there. I, I think I was even okay, but my two senior brothers, I think they went through hell. Because they had, my mom used to sell, there's a food that we used to sell in Ghana called mm. King K, just like Ugali equivalent. Yes. Yeah. And my two senior brothers, one goes in the morning before he goes to school. Oh. The second born, he was a shy one. Mm. Today he's still shy. Yes. <laughs> Today he's still yes. shy. Yes. He sits in the house, sell while my mom go out. Mm -hmm. Then in the evening, when I come back from school, that I also join. Oh. And the same food that my mom sell, that's what we eat from morning, afternoon, evening. I have a friend who lives in Germany right now. I'm gonna give him a shout out, yes. Sunny Mohammed. His mom used to sell wachi. We have a food in Ghana called wachi. Yeah. And I was so tired of eating that kinky every day. So I call this guy every day and I tell him, bro, you know, when you're coming to school, Bring Wachi so that we can swap. This story that I'm saying, you can ask this guy. We, I go to school and then we swap the food. He gives me his Wachi so that I, I mean, when I go back home, because I know that when I go back yes. home, I'm going to eat the same food same in the house. Food, yes. So this is how I grew up until today. I've not forgotten where I came from because that keeps me moving. That gives me the leverage to respect Everyone that I meet on the road, no matter, because you don't know what that person that you're disrespecting yeah. comes from. Yeah. So this is the family. I'm uh, also, I would say, I'm a pastor's son. So Daddy's a pastor. Yeah, my father he was, a, was pastor. a pastor. My father was a pastor. So, you know, those village churches pastors. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. yeah. So, I mean, growing up with that religious beliefs within you, we learn to put God first in everything. Um, when things get tough, yeah. my dad will sing our favorite song for us. We have an uncle that keeps the soul. That's his favorite song. And that was the song that, I mean, anytime, if you play this song, I might cry. Because it, it just reminds me of dad. those times with dad. Mm. You know, so because of this, I believe that, I mean, my dad is still, I mean, with me. Yes. Whatever I do, mm. I... I flew with my mom recently. Oh yes, I saw her. <laughs> I saw her. You came uh, to surprise your yeah, wife, and that yeah, was amazing. I flew with my mom. Yeah, and she started crying. It was off camera, and I asked, "Why are you crying?" I, said, I wish your dad was here to see this. And that was deep, you know. That was that was a, that was deep because this is a woman that never thought one day she'd be on a plane. This is not even domestic. This is international flight. So I mean, we've been in Kenya. She's just all over the place, looking at, oh, oh. my goodness, is, th is this me? Oh. oh, and I don't want to go too much into details, yes, but, but Lynn, this is my story. Mm. And you know what it is to mm. have it all and to lack. You know what it is to have a full meal and have nothing. You know what it is to go to school carrying books in a bag, to carry suitcases. Exactly. Now. You know how that feels like. And that is why I always say I've tasted poverty before. And I don't want to go back. I, I, people ask me, what inspired poverty? <laughs> Let me tell you, and, until you sleep hungry, <laughs> until you detest taking water because water will make you more hungry, <laughs> you know, until it rains and you are sleeping in balconies and you don't have, I don't, I hate, not detest, okay. I hate poverty. 
I, I, I like honest, only my mom and my sisters know. I hate poverty to mm. a level mm. that if I start sensing I'm gonna be poor, <laughs> oh, <she. laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do, you but I, go I, 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 I no. you know, so I feel you when mm. you say that. But I also love what that did to me and right. for me. You're right. You know, I You're love right. going back to those right. memories sometimes, right. you know. I love remembering. No, it's very important. It's very important. Very, very important. You know, the encouragement that comes with it. Mm. You know, the gratitude space. You know, God, I'm thankful for water, for food. That gratitude space for me, it's everything. So when you say you detest poverty, yeah. I know what you mean. Mm. I don't want to go back. No, there. definitely. That's why, like, every day I wake up, mm -hmm. I want to work extremely hard. Yeah. So I don't go back to, because, you know, a lot of people depend on you. Yes. The whole family depends on yes. you. So you have to make sure whatever you're doing, mm. know that you're fighting poverty. Yeah. Not fighting anyone else. Yes. So I don't see anyone as a competitor. You see poverty. I see poverty as a... <laughs> as a competitor. Oh, that's <laughs> a good one, I think. I see, yes. I'm like, no, I need to fight this guy, man. Yeah. Because it's not easy. It's not easy. No, not mm. at all. God, I feel like, you see, I told you, I find my clan easily. <laughs> they say, just... Be easy and the universe, yeah, you know, will yeah. bring everyone into yeah. your circle yeah. that is meant to be there. But mm. let's talk about living in China because mm. I know mm. you made a conscious decision to yeah. leave China. Yeah. And I know your dad was also very influential yeah. in the kind of content he would want his son to do. So if you could take us through that phase, mm. how, how was it uh, for you? I think um, living in China... I was more of, um, there was a day somebody came to me and said, let's go out and shoot a video. Because I was bored in my dormitory. Yeah. We couldn't travel. People with money traveled. But those of us who don't have money yeah. stays in the dormitory. So this guy comes. That's how I ended up shooting my first YouTube video. Yeah. So it was more of always trying to flirt with women on camera. That's, that's, that's the whole genesis of what I'm yes. And also, like... So you just want to have fun because you're on campus, right? Yes. You just, you just want to have fun. But and you're also young, you exactly. know? Exactly. Yeah. And my dad get the chance to see one of my videos. And as a pastor's son, yeah, you know, why are you doing this in school? What kind of image are you putting out there? Mm. People in church might think that, you know, I can't train my own son. And I took you to school to be an engineer, not yes. this. So my father stopped talking to me. For like two weeks, then I called my mom and I spoke to my mom, Auntie Maggie, like, I really love making videos, but I don't think I can change since my dad is telling me to stop. I don't think I can stop. So my mom said, but why are you doing this? What are you going to get from me and all of that? So I started like explaining things to my mom and she told me that I'm going to talk to your dad for mm -hmm. you. Two weeks later, my dad calls me and asks me, um, come back home. I thought that was the end. I thought when I come back home, I cannot make it back to China. So I came back home to Ghana, sat down with my dad, and my dad told me, you know what, you speak Chinese? Why don't you start changing the way Chinese people see Africa? Because I've been complaining about racism sometimes to my dad. It's like, oh, I think that makes sense. That's why my dad sent me to go and do my first ever video in Ghana about what Chinese people are doing in Ghana. Yes. I recorded that video, went back to China, posted it. Everybody was amazed, like, wow, we never knew this is what Chinese people are doing in Africa and all of that. Then I did the same video in China about the questions that Chinese people ask Africans, and I was just trying to correct all of them. At the end of the day, I woke up, the videos were everywhere. And that's when I found out that, okay, this should be the purpose of changing the way Chinese people see Africans and Africa. Yeah. And I continued I continue from there. And the video started like yes. going viral, yeah. people getting to see my yes. videos, people getting to see me. Yeah. I go out and say, oh, this is the guy who did that video. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Yes. So when all those videos started like popping, popping up. I started traveling within China to yes. bring more of those videos. Yeah. But hmm. I, what I found out was a lot, a lot of Africans were coming to China. And when they come, they said, because of your video, I'm here. Because of your video, that's why I came to China. I'm like, you mean me doing this on camera? That's why you're here? Yeah. And I was oh. like, wow. If that is the case, why don't I 
go to Africa and do what I'm doing so people can come thank you to those places and not China because that's it and also like just letting Chinese people know that Africa is beautiful I didn't have money to go <laughs> so wow. I asked Africans living in China can you guys support me with a dollar so that I can go back to Africa none of them supported me not even a single person oh. people were actually attacking me some of them were insulting me some of them were like you're going to Africa to have fun you're telling us that you're going to change the narrative about Africa what narrative what narrative are you talking about then I had a Chinese friend I want to take you back a little bit let's do it when I started YouTube videos I started with my phone Samsung S2 then when people started I didn't like seeing my videos I didn't have camera so I met this Chinese guy who had a camera so I bought a microphone you can check my channel I had a microphone without a camera it's there every like my whole journey is on it's, YouTube it's on you. I, I, I can pump I can pinpoint exact yes. videos so the day I bought a, a microphone I told everybody that I finally bought a microphone so this Chinese guy brings his camera I used my microphone then we shoot our YouTube video this same guy before that there's an Ethiopian doctor living in America who identified me and said this guy has a potential he sent me my first ever money to buy my first ever camera Canon the camera you're using 700D Ooh. that was my first ever camera that I bought and when the camera came the camera didn't even have a a microphone port so now the microphone was useless <laughs> <laughs> the microphone was useless now when I wanted to come back to Africa I spoke to this Chinese guy and said you know what I believe in you I've been with you for the past four years and I know that you can succeed so I'm gonna take the risk and buy tickets for you to go to Africa but this ticket that I'm buying is on a loan you took a loan this guy took a loan not even the me. Chinese guy the Chinese guy Awe. I mean I've been talking about him on my channel so yes. many times this guy took a loan we have something called credit cards yes. he bought my first five tickets to come to Africa five different countries now he told me one thing please come back if you don't come back for us to pay this loan I'll be in prison I'm like don't worry I'll be back so when I moved to Africa you have no idea I was not sleeping because in my mind we have to pay that loan and that's when I learned how to be consistent on YouTube wow. and that was when I did that video from Rwanda Ooh. sitting in the gutter mm. shouting you yes. know I woke up the next morning the, the video, video went was viral it was trending everywhere it's, it's still one of my favorites <laughs> You know, it's still one of my favorites. Hey, yes. Really? And it was trending. It was trending. One week later, that video made that money. Wow. And I called the guy and said, we are paying the loan. Oh, the whole loan. The whole loan. Because that was how I made my first ever $5,000. Because the loan was $5,000. Yes. By the end of the month, we made our first ever $10,000. I've never seen $10,000 on, on YouTube. Even living in China, <laughs> never. I was like, wow. Because in China those days, I used to do videos a week, one video. Yes. You know, there was no consistency. But the fact that I had the loan to pay yes. decided to be consistent. Yeah. And then we paid this loan. Yeah. And in 2019, I called this guy to join me in Africa. He came to spend time with me in Ghana. And then he went back. Yeah. But I have never left since that time. And I have been moving from one country to another. The whole concept was to promote Africa to the world, to change, like I told you, to let Chinese people know that Africa is not what they think. Yes. But then when I started traveling in Africa, I found that, that even Africans, <laughs> mm. they don't know that this is how beautiful Kenya is. Yes. They don't know this, this is how it's beautiful, beautiful Ethiopia is. Rwanda, I saw you in Namibia and I was like, we go to Dubai for the safari, you know, for the safari, you know, the desert, desert safari. safaris. And we have an incredible exactly. one here. Exactly. So even me, I was ashamed. Hmm. Like if I want a desert safari right now, my mind goes Dubai. Dubai. But after your video, my mind is like, Honestly, I have to go to Namibia. Wow. Like, I'm not kidding you, and I will open my video with, guys, courtesy of Wardmire, <laughs> I am in Namibia! <laughs>
you know the way you say it? <laughs> <laughs> say you, I'm going to yeah. because mm. the way you document mm. Africa, ah. it's pure passion. Um, it, it's just that I love what I do so much. It's not like I, I'm, I'm not even faking it. Yes. Like when I see stuff, so one thing that really helps me a lot is that when I'm going to a country, I don't do research. I don't want Google to tell me what do, to expect. Because they are telling you that's the whole essence. Exactly. Google will not tell exactly. us what. Exactly. So I go, go with the flow. Whatever I see with my naked eyes, I express it. My videographers will edit and get a video out. So, I mean, when we started doing this, that's when I found out that, you know what, limits your Africa to the world to Africa for Africans. And that's how yeah. I managed to travel so many African countries promoting Africa mm. to Africans in Africa and yes. Africans in the diaspora. Yeah. I think what really changed my whole life was when during COVID, couldn't travel. Yeah. I was stuck in Ghana for yeah. seven months. Yes. I'm like, what do I do? So I took the risk to travel within Ghana. I went to Kumasi, I was sleeping in a lodge. And then I saw a comment from somebody saying that all these lodges that you sleep in Africa, it was a video I did in Liberia. Yes. It's not for Africans. Like, what do you mean? I mean, it got to me, but I was like, I need to respond. Because for me, yes. uh, positivity is everything. Even if you attack me, do I'll counter attack with positive stuff. Yes. So I asked the woman, the resort that I was sleeping, are you sure you own this resort? He said, yeah, I own it. It took me four years to even acquire the land. Lynn, that's how I told my first ever entrepreneurial video. And when I finished that story, I woke up the next morning, the video was everywhere. And you know, COVID time, everyone, everyone was, online. was online. Everyone was online. Including me. What was posted today? Uh -huh. You know, COVID was so tough because mm. even for me, content twice, it was mm. such a rough stage. Mm. And I remember those uh, back then I, I, I was still working yeah. at um, my other company mm. at Tuko. And, there were so many, we were doing so many videos and I was draining. Some of them were really draining me. Wow. So I used to actually look now for you as a place of, you know, peace of mind. Hmm. I'm like, after I'm done with my hustle, what has Word Maya posted today? Oh God, this is beautiful. You remember the guy we even interviewed here in Kenya? He came from America oh, and the farmer. started the farmer. Uh, yeah. I interviewed him yeah, too I because saw that video. of you. Because not, you did the video yeah. and it really motivated me. Wow. And I felt like I needed to also tell now his story from just so that I can, sometimes when I interview, like now when I'm interviewing you, yeah. I'm not interviewing you because people like will watch. I'm interviewing you because you're my source of inspiration. Wow. So when I watched the guy you had done the interview with mm. him, he really inspired me because wow. he had taken a risk, you know, to come from that place to here. So I really wanted to sit down with him. Courtesy mm. of you, I wouldn't have known him had it not been for your video. And I searched for him, I DM'd him, and he gave me an opportunity. Kunga, yeah, yeah. Right? his name is yes, Kunga. Yes, yes, yeah? yes, such nice. an amazing guy. Nice. Such an amazing guy. Anyway, sorry to cut no. you short. I mean, Back like, COVID. COVID really changed. Yeah. I say it changed my life, man. Because I was still doing videos, but I was not finding that video that imp have more impact than the ones that I was doing. Yeah. Until I started bringing entrepreneurship series. And when I did the one in Ghana, and let me tell you, I didn't know anyone. Then I asked this woman, yo, do you know anyone here who has a story to tell? I said, oh, there's this man that I know. And I goes to the person and I ask him, do, do you know anyone? Know? <laughs> do you know? That's how I did you all the network. videos that I have. It was through people. Wow. Importance of networking. Your network is, is your you? net worth. Mm -hmm. I always tell people don't burn bridges. Don't burn bridges. Don't burn bridges. Like I, I always want to, everyone has their own character. Yes. Maybe you might not be a big fan of somebody's character, yeah. but that network because yes. you might need him somewhere. Yeah. It's very important. Yeah. So I built on that network. And believe me or not, I don't know who I can interview right now. Because I have everyone on my network right yes. now. O almost everyone. Yeah. And this is what COVID did to me. COVID did not just introduce me to so many people. COVID actually, should I say, made me money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. COVID, COVID made me money. COVID... It's okay, you can be comfortable. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> Yes. COVID 
help me build my own house, cover to help me oh. buy properties. Just because I look through myself and I'm like, what can I do? And God answered. Yeah. And here, here you we are. are. And here you are. Yeah. I love that you don't take opportunities for granted. Not you know, I think we suffer from thinking tomorrow will be a better day than today. Mm. Forgetting today is the tomorrow we prayed about mm. someday, you know. I like that you take advantage, not advantage, you observe, you see a, an opportunity mm. to tell a beautiful story, story and you go for it. And one thing that I do is like I don't plan my stories. Mm. Me too. All the people that I've interviewed, they can ask, they, they'll be working with me and they're like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> What, what is this guy doing? Yes. But at the end of the day, I come up with the story and yeah. they will call me. There's this story that I did. I don't know, Innocent Motors, the guy who manufactured cars in Nigeria. Yeah. When I went to his house, I was like, is this this guy? Is this small boy who's going to interview me? <laughs> and then I did the whole story. And then this man called me yes. and said, young man, what church do you go? I'm like, what do you mean? It's like, what God do you worship? I'm like, wow. And he's like, hey, let me tell you something. You look so small, yes. but you are mighty. Good. And whatever God that you worship, don't stop. No. You've done something that I've spent yes. millions of uh, Naira to do. I couldn't do it. He just came to my house and then you just set up a and small you. camera. I saw your small camera because BBC and those people, they come, they come with, with big cameras. <laughs> <laughs> they come with small cameras. Yes. But what you did, and that's how I felt like, you know what? Impact is everything. It's not about chasing clout. It's not about, I mean, letting people know who you are. But every story that I'm telling, I always make sure what impact would this story make in somebody's life. Beautiful. And that's it. And that's it. That's it. In Swahili, we say, tender way ma nenda zako to translate. Do the goodness that you are there to do and then go your way. Wow. You impact and you That's move it. on to That's the next it. one. That's, That's beautiful. But in the course of you, because I don't know anyone that has documented our stories the way you've done. I don't know Thank anyone you. that makes me proud to be. You know what you've done? You make me as an African woman walk head high, like tall, you know? <laughs> like, hey, I'm important. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. hey, uh, so, <laughs> you know, exactly. even now when you go to immigration, yeah. uh, different countries, yes, yeah. you're not scared if they tell you go no, back to Africa. I'm like, Africa is beautiful. I want to live here. This Thank is you. my home. This is, you. you make me walk with so much confidence wow. because of what the visuals you've displayed about Africa have done to the world, hmm. you know? Like, I'm like, God, you didn't, you didn't think Africa looks like <laughs> these guys, you know? I'm just like, guys, this <laughs> But it, what hurts me though, mm. in the course of you showcasing beautiful African mm. stories, you've been arrested, you know, you've been dragged around, you've suffered matters visa, and I understand it's a process. But where I agree with you, I don't know why I need a visa to go to another African country, where else someone from the US or wherever, they come and get visa on arrival. And me, I need to use so much money even to visit mm. my tribe outside Kenya. That's one thing that really makes me sad whenever I travel within Africa. I mean, being in Africa as an African, it's extremely tough to travel within Africa as an African than even an European or American. I mean, why do we need visas to travel different African country? We are going to Angola. And if you see the visa application requirement. The documentation. For, for you to apply for visa, I'm like, am I going to steal something in Angola? So they said that even my letter of introductory, I need to write it in Portuguese. <laughs> oh. Like, it doesn't make sense. And I, I always say, I don't know if the AU really functions. I really don't know what these guys meet, what they talk about. Yeah. Because Africa will continue to be where it is if we don't start thinking about how to allow Africans to travel from one country to another. That's what I really love about Uhuru Kenyatta. Yes. He gave incredible speeches about, I mean, how we need borderless Africa because this creation yes. is not our own. Mm. But... I don't know if it will change someday. Yeah. I really don't know. Yeah. Well, maybe our generation. Like maybe. our generation. Yeah. We gotta be hopeful, but at the same time, it has taken too damn long, you know, 
like this is long like it's not even a matter of oh no nah, it shouldn't like it's easier i wanna feel the way i feel when you're going to ethiopia or rwanda you know visa on arrival it's easy and we're just and the same people and we're just the same people just you the know same people. Oh, God. i did a video in uh, uganda yeah and the people were speaking luganda people from zimbabwe south africa congo everybody in the comment section were like how come i can understand this guy yes so you know we're just divided yeah by the borders it's about time to allow africans to mm. integrate for us to get to know each yes. other more continue pushing for that for me that's important i feel like you've been the godfather do that for please <laughs> we, we i can't do it alone no we have we need, you we need, we need no, people we, like you no we also have start you talking about no we have your back like i talk about like you, you. when i when i get pissed about things like I go out and talk about them because for me it doesn't make sense that my introduction letter should be written in Portuguese. Portuguese. <laughs> That's mental slavery, you know. Thank it's, you. it's too okay. Thank but you. anyways, I don't want them to deny me access to <laughs> <laughs> those places soon. But I love that. Uh, How do you deal with um, the negativity? You know, you've been arrested. Mm. You've been oh god, you've been through so much. I feel like it's part of the job. Nothing good comes out easy. Yeah. And believe me, that builds me up. That also makes me learn about human beings in general, especially when it comes to online attack. Yes. I mean, I've been attacked so much that right now, even an attack on the internet doesn't even, it doesn't get to my skin, you know. Yes. Because I, I, I feel like even if you have to be attacked, it should come from people that are not even Africans. But this are like your own people. Imagine when you go to a country, you get arrested, you talk about that, the people are like, you're making our country look bad. If you've been denied into a country, yes. you just talked about it. I mean, we are Africans, allow us to move from one country to another. And you see the people from that country attacking you for mm. saying the truth. You know, so it's, it's a bit sad that even Africans don't love ourselves. Yes. You know, we doubt each other. There was this video that I did yesterday and the guy was telling me that if Africans can learn to support each other without any doubt, yeah. we can colonize the whole mm, world. Mm. And that was yes. like one of the best statements that I've ever heard in a long time. Because we are stronger if we come together. But individual countries, our economies are not even stronger. I think I follow Kenyan politics a lot. When Ruto went around he gave that speeches twice saying yes. that he doesn't understand why 54 african leaders have to sit on one in table a bus and also be carried by buses and so th th this is what i'm saying that they need to wake up so, you know respect is end there you go so you have to start respecting yourself within your various continent yeah, just before don't, don't honor the invitation to go sit you. in a bus be because you can't Listen, I, I, I'm, I know this is Kenya. If you know him, you can send him this video. You can't give a speech and there was a coronation. You go for the coronation and then you come back and give the same speech again. There you go. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like African leaders need to start respecting themselves. And believe me, if you guys come together and you ask yourself, why are they looking for all the 54 countries for us to sit down with one person? That means it's about time you guys come together, yeah. build one economy, build one currency, speak one language, trade among yourself. Mm. And that's when you can be powerful and say that, you know what, this is the leader of the African Union. Yes. If, if China is looking for us, this president needs to go. Yes. One to one. One to one. Why 54 to one? Oh man, I know, I know. It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it is what it is. It is. Do, do you ever get scared that your views uh, will land you in trouble? Do you ever get scared I, of the truth? You see, I will always stand by the truth. And even if I die for the truth, I know that I did something good yes. on earth before I passed on. Yeah. And believe me, so many people get the same view as me. I'm not the only one. You know, sometimes when I interview people, I ask them, if you had the chance to change one thing about Africa, what will it be? Mm. And the kind of answers that they give is the same view that I hold. So at the end of the day, that's the truth. Yeah. So you always have to stand 
by the truth yes. and nothing else. And nothing else. Me, that's what I believe in. I, I mean, if I know that I spoke the truth, that's it. That's it. I don't care. It's the truth. Is what I'm saying. If you can't, I mean, banter what I said, that's okay. No. But, but this is, is the truth. truth. Game over. That's it. That's it. Eh? Leah, I, I, I think also a lot of young people with families also kind of get inspiration from you. Mm. You are, you have this beautiful image of an amazing family man. Mm. And I know you don't put a lot of your personal details out yeah. there, but your relationship with one other content creator that I respect so much. Trudy, yeah. back in 20, I think 2017, yeah. I, I, I started following her from Kitambo, way back, you know, mm. even before you guys became an item. Wow. And I've seen her become such a strong household name. Mm. But you guys, you are such a powerhouse, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you make Thank a you. very beautiful couple. Thank you. What, what brings you together? What gels your relationship? I think I would say God mm. first because... Um, we have the same beliefs. I put God first in everything oh, yeah. that I do. She put God first in yes. everything she does. You know, I I just love her not because of YouTube. I love her just because of who she is. Yeah. And I always put that first before even the whole YouTube thing. Yes. If it were to be me alone, most of you would not even see some of the videos that you see, you know, but at the end of the day, she's a yes. lifestyle content creator, yes. and uh, what we have to give to you people, we we'll give it to you mm. people. But um, most importantly, I feel like she changed me for who I am. I mean, I was a very stubborn guy. Really? Very. You? Very. Hard headed and. Ah, then... very stubborn <laughs> guy, you know? But Trudy grounded me, Trudy made me, you know focus and um, I think I hit a million subscriber faster yes. I think even because of Trudy oh. um, we really understand each other uh, it's not about competition for anyone else it's all about us building ourselves yeah. and that is the most important thing yes so uh, I mean people say whatever they want to say yeah but sometimes we look at what people are saying and we laugh and, over I it. I know. That uh, part is always funny, you know, when you're reading it, comments it, and exactly, you're just laughing. Exactly, exactly. Because they have no idea. Yeah, we've built something that people think it might never last. But, I mean, they say give them one year. I mean, we are almost five years right now. Congratulations. Um, so, for us, it's just God yeah. and no one else. Well, what is it about her? that you know makes you look at her like wow this woman is truly my woman she she is a dreamer you know she dreams she works hard to achieve those dreams yeah and you know every guy needs a hard-working woman yes. i mean as i sit here there's no day um truly has ever asked me give me money to buy this and that i can't confidently say that it's me that i'll be like okay i think you need this, you need that, just take and all of yes. that. But that's the woman that she works hard to make her own money. And then even when she bought her apartment, people thought I was one who bought an apartment. Mm. I'm like, no, she did everything by herself. I yeah. didn't even invest even a, a penny. I mean, yes, yeah, she's my wife. I give her what I have to give her, yes. but she is an independent woman. Mm. And that actually drew me closer to her more than even yeah. before. Um, She's a go-getter, man. She like, can. I don't... I, I can talk about Trudy the whole day. And believe me or not, she doesn't care about anything else apart from just us. Mm. You know, um, sometimes some of the things I have to come in and handle. Um, you know, she she's not a big fan of internet drama. Yes. There are so many videos that goes online. Trudy yes. has not even seen it. Yeah. If you talk about Trudy, she won't watch it. I'll, I'll be the one to... Too. Even watch those videos, and when I start telling her, she's like, "No, no, no, don't tell me that." So that's a woman that she's just for you mm. and no one else. Mm. I mean, even in Kenya, I was just gonna say this. Um, there's so many YouTubers that interviewed her. There are so many celebrities that you know interviewed her, featured her on so many stuff, and they thought she was not that woman. They thought like, okay. They, we can have it, you know, yes. you know, and you see some kind of useless messages that 
um, this guy just interviewed her and, mm. you know, thinking that they can, yeah. you know, take her to the next level and yeah. all of that. Yeah. I see those messages. She sent, she showed me she, every single mm. message. So, mm. I mean, it's a woman that, she's a woman that I can leave her yeah. and I can sleep. I, yeah. I'm in Ghana and I don't care. Yes. I don't, I don't care that I left Trudy in Kenya that mm. she's going to know. I don't mm. care. Would you say this is your dream woman? This is the woman you prayed for? Trudy is the woman that I prayed for. And I would say that over and over again. Because, you know, when you make YouTube videos, you need to get someone who really understands what you're doing. Yes. Somebody who actually believes in your dream. Somebody who knows that, okay, you know what? She's, he's out there. He's filming. When he's done, he'll come back home. That's it. Like she, she gets you. She, she she gets me. She 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 believes in what I do. Mm. You know. Um, how do I say this? Like, she encourages me. She, I feel like Trudy is my number one fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's my number one fan, mm -hmm. and I'm also her number one fan. Yeah. And we complement each other Good. almost every single day. Yeah. And. We keep doing our thing, yeah. despite what everyone is saying. Mm. Would you say that's the foundation of a beautiful relationship? Because I know you're not saying here you are 100. I know people in relationship have their own fights, miscommunication, mm, mm, all that. Mm. But do you think what brings you together is the fact that you get each other? I think what brings us together is our love for God. Mm. Wow. That, our oh. love for God. Powerful. I, I mean, Trudy will wake you up and say, no, you didn't pray before we slept so we have to wake up and you know like she put god first before anything else yeah i think that is what brought us together Brings you together uh mm. we sitting on a, yeah. a foundation that mm. is like more of um god's foundation yeah and i believe we are all not perfect yes. we make our own mistakes your i mean your, your weakest point is my strongest point yeah so we tend to we, build each other mm, and help each other yeah, work on their weaknesses yes. and all of that yeah. so it's been it's been an incredible journey and yeah. people always ask me are you not scared married to a kenyan and you live in ghana no like i don't even see trudy as a kenyan i see her as that woman who loves and cares about me and nothing Not else it. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. You know, may God bless your family. Amen. I see the respect that both of you have for each other's parents. Mm. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> there's a day I was watching a video, the respect you have for the dad. You know, yeah. you came to surprise her and the dad was there. And I could see how the dad was relating with you. So yeah. much grace. Yeah. So uh, uh, all, all the very best Thank in you. your family. And Thank say you. hi to her. I will. When you, say, when you get uh, back to yeah. your home, yeah. say hello to her. Yeah. And have you met her before? No, we've never met face to face. Really? Like I don't think we've met face to face. Oh wow. I do I would remember. I'll bring I would remember. I'll bring yeah, yeah. Just say hello. I will. Yeah, I like pass my regards, you know. Yeah. And when I see young people believing in because I, I believe in the family unit. Mm. I always say I believe and advocate for a beautiful family unit. Mm. So when I see one, it makes me really happy. Oh. So continue inspiring Thank people. You. And I love that both of you are hard workers. You know, you kick up, okay, I love to say that. Yeah, you kick up, like you actually work really <laughs> Like you actually work no, really definitely, hard. Definitely, definitely. You, you know, I've seen her also going around, you know, uh, intercontinental, yeah. interviewing yeah. people, yeah. big people. You know, I've seen you sit across presidents yeah. and I'm like, way to go. No, it's, I, to I, go. I, I just love her confidence. Yeah. Um, and believe me, she's the next big thing. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Yay. She's the next big thing, yes. trust me on what that. What do you think people get wrong about her? They think Trudy is root, right? But Trudy always stands for her, right? Good. She's that, not scared. That, like, I, I'm that guy who can never say no, even if I know that you are inconveniencing me. Yes. I can't. I, 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 I don't know. So now Trudy comes in mm. to say the no. So I will just hide behind <laughs> Trudy and I'll say, please say please, no. Please say no for me. And I'm like, oh, my wife said no. Yeah, oh, there's I'm nothing so, so, else there's I, nothing can I can do. do. But I'm the one who want to say no. But you can't. But I can't. So she helps me say the no. And then people might think she is... But if you get the chance to meet Trudy, believe me, yeah. she just don't like it when people are taking advantage of, of her. her food. She doesn't like it when you know that this is wrong. And yes. she has some kind of characteristics where she can just bust out 
Yes. If she knows that someone is taking advantage of uh-huh. her and what she knows that mm. what I'm doing is right, mm. and you cannot say anything yeah. else. And I, if I'm around, I can control that. Yes. But if I'm not around, she goes <laughs> game over. <laughs> Give, yeah, it's good. She goes, no, she goes, I, yeah. I applaud everyone yeah. that stands. Yeah. The world no, no, is so it. mean sometimes. Yeah, you know? exactly. You have to have a voice. You have to stand up for mm. yourself. I don't advocate for being silenced. Even me as Lynn, I will stand up for mm. myself yeah. any day, any time. Wow. I will not be tamed, contained. I can't. You know, I can't. So I applaud everyone that tries to stand up for themselves. And I love the fact that I'm the opposite of her. Of course, that's why you are so that's a, <laughs> I'm the opposite of her, so yes. she does all the dirty jobs ah, on me. Yeah. Even, yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> she does all the dirty she, jobs. She does all the way, yeah, yeah, you know. So may God really bless you. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking forward, you yeah. know, to just seeing what God has in store Amen. for you. You put Amen. it in God's hands Amen. and he'll do the rest. Amen. Looking at your journey, because yeah. I got to let you go. Looking yeah. at your journey and mm-hmm. where you've come from. What does the future look like for you? And did you dis, did, did you do away with engineering or where are we going next? Believe me, where I sit right now, I don't think engineering is part of the plan. Yeah. But I know and believe that the future is so bright mm-hmm. uh, based on what um, I've built yes. uh, now. Um, pe- I want to say this. People think YouTube... It's not a profession. Yeah. People think that you cannot build anything out of YouTube. Mm. But I, I built a whole empire yes. out of YouTube videos. And YouTube videos have actually built my network that I have right now. Like yeah. For me, it's not even about YouTube videos anymore. <laughs> what makes me powerful is the network that I have. Is to pick up a phone. You know, my whole goal is to every president of a country is just going to be one phone call away. I don't have to call the president directly, but I can call the person, you know, one the other person sir, who, who knows, the, knows president. the president. So the future for us is to sit down with African leaders and ask them that question that we all have been asking. That do you really care about the country or you're just there because of personal gains? This is that one, I, I feel like is the final point for me. And when I'm done, I'll drop the mic. Hmm. And I'm out yes. because I, I I have other plans of um, not just being on camera. I'll be behind the camera someday. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll just drop the mic for people to continue where we left. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I believe that there is a bigger um, <laughs> purpose. There's a bigger purpose ahead of Watermaya, mm. and I will let you guys know in four years' time. Yeah. It's like it's it's so my whole life. I have timing, the time to get married, the time to do this. Now I have four more years to drop the mic yes. on YouTube. I think I'm going to be joining you. <laughs> <laughs> four I, years I, to I, drop the mic on yes, YouTube. Yeah. And I will... Definitely. I will, I will tell the people what's next. To bigger things. Yeah. Ever thought next? of being in politics? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to explain nothing, but I, I was just you know, trying to. You know, it's, it's, yeah. I, I'm, I'm a big fan of politics. Yes. But I, I really want to change things in a bigger way. In a bigger way. Yeah. I, I really want to make decisions, mm. you know. So we'll yes. get there. You so know what I mean? I hope I can still come and be like, what my four years later, this is where we are. But exactly. Yes. I love that you said people think YouTube is not a job. Yep. Sometimes it's yep. not like professional. Mm. And you said, you know, you started with your Samsung S2. Yeah. You started with your Samsung. And I keep telling people, use what you have. Thank There's you. no moment that will ever be perfect to start. Thank you. And no matter what your hustle is, please be proud of it. There's no shame in hard work. There's no shame. And I'm looking at you right now. All the content creators, everyone. It doesn't even have to be YouTube, a YouTuber or a content creator for Mm, other different mm, platforms. mm. Everyone holding on to a dream when they are scared of letting it all out. What do you want to tell them? I want to tell you, first of all, believe in yourself. When you believe in yourself, that's when you get the chance to stay authentic. Don't try to be like what am I? Be yourself. Bring what makes you you out. Yes. 
you see, I will tell you something. When I started making videos, I was like, I'm the annoying village boy from Ghana. I knew I was annoying. And I'm bringing that annoyingness of me on camera without yes. thinking about what the person watches me cares about. It's just me or no yeah. one else. Yes. So first of all, believe in that dream. Stay consistent. What do you call it? Stay, stay true to yourself. Yeah. But consistency is everything on this journey. Yeah. Like sometimes you wake up and you'll be like, I don't want to shoot. I, I, I'm tired. I don't want to be on camera. But you have to be on camera for the people. Mm. You know, I suffer from that sometimes. No. I don't want to be sometimes. So, you know what? You know what? When, whenever, whenever you don't want to be on camera, yeah. go to your comment section. Oh. Read about what the people are saying. Hmm. Me, I, I don't joke with my audience. I, I respect my audience so much. When I was coming, I was late, but I met a doctor from South Sudan. <laughs> I'm late, but I had to be there, and he's happy to see me. I ended up spending 10 minutes. Yes. No, I don't joke with the people that watches my channel because they made me who mm -hmm. I am. And when I meet them, even if I'm busy, I always try, even if it's two minutes, three minutes, to spend time with them, wow. for them to know that this guy, they care about you, you also care about oh, them. Okay. So just go through your comment section when you don't feel like shooting a YouTube video. Read what they are saying about you. That will even give you the energy. Wow. Lynn, it give you the energy to go out there and keep doing your thing. Mm. You know, when you're creating content and no one is watching you, that is the toughest part of it all. Yes. But don't give up. I was once like you. I created content and I used to watch my own self. Like, I click on my video and I see two views. Then click I didn't, again. I, I didn't even three know views. I was the one. <laughs> I, I didn't even know I was the one who was making those views three. Yes. And then I was so happy. I'm like, oh my goodness. The, yes. the first time I got my five, first 500 views, yeah. I, I nearly uh. jumped on a staircase. Uh. I was so happy. Yes. Trust the process. Keep going. Don't yes. let anyone tell you otherwise. Yes. See, I am a living testimony. If anybody tells you that YouTube is not what it takes or what people yes. are saying, tell them that you know a guy called Wadamaya Good. who was born in a village. YouTube changes life. Mm. I own an estate in Ghana. I live in my own house in Ghana. I drive my own car in Ghana. Like, I don't know, I don't know what else, what else, you know, like, I don't, personally, I don't talk about things like material things yes. like that. But for me, success is all about waking up the next morning and I can breathe. That's success for me. I came to sit with Lynn. I'm just my t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm here. Yes. But all I'm just trying to tell you, you can do it. Don't let anyone tell you tell otherwise. You can't. And let me tell you something. Whenever you want to create content, forget about the fast food content. Yes. Do you know what is fast food? Like, yeah, easy come, easy go. You know, we're living in a society where everything evolves around our celebrities. For us to think that the celebrity is the content. But the celebrity is a fast food content. Yes. That's why I'm saying stay authentic. Very. Stay true to yourself. We have so much content, content around us. Beautiful. But you guys are not going for it because you feel like interviewing a celebrity is, is what everything. content is. No. The content can be you waking up in the morning from that village. That is the content. Yes. The content is about the food that you eat every day. That is the content. Are you a medical doctor? You go to you go to hospital every day, but apart from you going to the hospital, people come, patients come into you. Yes. Have you thought of just advising people online? You see, I, I love Kenya so much. I love coming to this country. Kenyans consume content a lot, but I feel like it's about time content creators in this country give the people the value they deserve. The, the, the drama is too much. No, it's too much. The like, cloud. I don't, I don't, I don't, the the cloud is that's too the, much. That's the word. The cloud in this country is too much. Like yeah. everyone is looking for something. Like I've, I, my phone. A lot of people have been calling me, and I'm like, I'm not interested because I know the kind of value of content that you want, and I'm not ready to give you that kind of content. Yes. You know. I will tell you this. I came to this country. I mean, I've done incredible content from here. And I'll tell you, 
like when I come here, the place that I sleep, it's not even for Trudy. Someone said, anytime you come to Kenya, I'll give you my house. Wow. Anytime you come to Kenya, I'll give you my car. I'll give you a driver. I've not done anything. What I did was to tell their stories and the impact that they saw from the story, they decided to pay me back. Wow. But this is what I'm telling you. There's so much people in these countries that their stories need to be told. Wow. And not all content is your celebrities. Go out there, go tell their stories. Let the world get to see what we're doing in Africa. I mean, you are a content creator from Kenya. You should be ambassador for the country. That is why I love your content. I'm not saying this because you are here, <laughs> but all my, all my videos, I, I remember the last time I said, the only content creator I watch is from you because I feel like there's value when I watch a content. I can learn something from a content that I watch. I mean, somebody's story can inspire me. Thank you, or teach you. Thank you. Thank you. So let's just go with that. Yeah. And I hope and believe that things get better with time yeah, in the country. They will. Mm. It takes us. All right. It takes us. We are You're not right. counting on anyone. <laughs> we are going to count on. I'm going to count on you first and then us. <laughs> You know, it takes you, it takes us. So yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah. But I don't want to let you go maybe before you wow. open your heart. Yeah. Anything else you needed to say while you were here that you think we did not touch on, please feel free. I want to thank Kenyans mm. for loving me. Mm. Um, I read on the internet that uh, I'm the third most famous Ghanaian in Kenya. Yes. <laughs> what? I'm like, yeah, me. But it's been amazing. Mm. When I, anytime I come, I arrive. The immigration officers imagine the first time i came here they were like you west african you are this this and that this mm. time i'll be on the queue and i'm like mr Ghana, baby come come come, come 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 so i just love the support i really appreciate the love and support that yes. kenyans have been showing me like i go to the mall i see people coming to take photos I'm like oh my god so i just want to say i love you guys yeah keep supporting me i am who i am I know at some point drama here and there made a lot of people come to my DM to threaten to kill me. These are Kenyans, by the way. But I know some of them have seen that this guy is just a guy with pure heart. And some of them came to apologize at the end of the day. So I just want to tell you guys, whatever people are telling you about me, it's not true. Yes. This is what I'm I love and I appreciate you. Yeah. And Lynn... Thank you so much for giving me the platform to speak to your people. I love and appreciate you so Thank much. You. Keep doing what you're doing. If you ever decide to come to Ghana, no, I'm gonna come. <laughs> just let me know. Yes. Accommodation is on me. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Accommodation is on me. You cannot yes. come to Ghana and buy an apartment. <laughs> Accommodation is on me. Yeah, so just, you. I'm inviting you officially. Thank yeah. You. Come to Ghana. Thank you. And um, come and do what you're doing in yeah. Ghana, probably. A lot of Ghanaians might love you to interview them than what am I interviewing them. Yes. So, yeah, we'll be Thank waiting you. for you. I appreciate you. This is, for me, is a dream come true. Come on. <laughs> come <What>? on. <laughs> this, for me, getting to have this conversation with you, taking time out of your busy schedule yeah. to spare an hour and maybe a half with me. Mm. It's a dream. You've inspired me greatly. I wow. feel I'm still on the right path. I want to keep going. You've challenged me on what to do and I feel a bit down because I don't mess with my audience. Wow. You know, you go, like earlier on we went somewhere to the embassy. I think it's, there's something you are going to do. In. You know, it's always the security guards. You know, I met one woman there last time and, you know, she's just there and she's watching our content. And, you know, they give you a hug. Wow. And they want selfies. And yeah. that, for me, I look at them and sometimes I, I don't do this for the VIP, VVIPs. No, I no. do this for these people. Exactly. And when they watch you and they see your journey and they see where you've come from, they'll know everything is possible. And I love that you're not just in serving as an inspiration to them, even to me. Mm. I don't want to give you these flowers later on in life and be there. Oh, what do I, I want to tell you right now, you are an enigma of content creation. You have paved way for so many of us. And for that, I am eternal, like, honestly, grateful. So may God bless you. May he keep you. Amen. May he give you great wealth and Amen. great health. Amen. Go Very win. Important. May he bless your generation. Amen. 
may he bless your kids Amen. may he bless the kids of your kids Amen. you know and wow. go out there and conquer open africa to the world like you've done all those places you have dreamt of going may he go before you Amen. all right Amen. and uh, if you need any support yeah that you need from me yeah please um i got what my personal number what you say <laughs> Just let, like, yes. uh, just let me know. Just let me know. I'll be here to yeah. support. Yeah. I mean, you're amazing. I've seen the people that you brought on the channel. And I'll say, don't stop. No. Keep going. Yeah. Please. If you were the Maya gang, you know how we do it. It's by force to subscribe. <laughs> please. Please. This time around, I'm saying please. <laughs> it's by force. I never use please. Right? <laughs> I need to use please yes. by force. Yeah. Subscribe to this channel. Yeah. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm a big fan of her. So I know you guys will love her. I'm a big fan of you. <laughs> so fan of a fan. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. My people, I don't even need to tell you. You already know where yeah. to go. Go show him some love, you oh. know. Tell him thank you for making me happy on his channel. And don't forget to pass my regards to your family. Oh. Shall we wind up? Of course, why not? All right, what an episode, guys. Thank <laughs> you so much. I am happy. I am elated. One of the best days in the history of my life. I get to meet someone I look up to. Wow. Someone whose channel, I ask me what you upload. I can tell you the last 10 episodes. You What? All your sequence from Uganda are followed religiously. Your mom coming are followed. Burundi? The one oh, you was yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. The guy doing an incredible job. I have followed you doing amazing job. So, guys, go hey. and support. Yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> go support. Don't even like just, wow. just continue supporting our work. And thank you for everything you've done. I appreciate you. I have to let him go. He has a busy schedule. He has a flight to catch tomorrow. So, I don't take him coming here for granted. And guys, 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 let's continue impacting one life at a time. I appreciate each and every one of you. Tumetoka Mbali. We've come from far and I know we are going far. And of course, everyone that takes a chance on this channel, including our beautiful sponsors at Lemonade Finance, we appreciate you. I'm loving your feedback on them. Let me know. What do you experience when you send? What app do you use to send money? Lemonade Finance. Are you kidding me right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. No, stop. No, 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 just no, 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 no. Lemonade Finance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you just saying this because it's Le me? Lemonade Finance. You all need to check out Lemonade what, Finance. Ma, I'm going to ask you this off camera also because yeah. you can't say this because you want to support No, Lemonade me. Finance. Trust me. For real? For real. The experience that is it, good? It's amazing. Zero charges. Yeah. Yeah. For, and you it's love it. It even goes to Ghana. What's the negative feedback though? I don't think so I have. I, I don't think I have negative feedback. Yeah. The, the most important thing is that when you send money, you mm. get it. The is it two to five minutes? Yes, you get three you, to five minutes. I, I would say two. Oh, it's oh, yes. instant. Yeah. You you get the money with oh. no charges. Oh, that, thank you, yeah. uh, guys. I did not ask. I did not tell him to do that. So I'm happy to know I'm advocating for an amazing brand. Exactly. So send your money using Lemonade Finance. Zero fees, guys. Best rates, and you do get your ten percent cash back. Uh, use my code Lean, please, so that you can get ten percent cash back on every one hundred pounds. Uh, dollars and Canadian dollars that you send mm. and also do not forget to download their app it's pinned on the comment section and you can send money to your loved ones here in Kenya in Ghana in Nigeria from the US UK and Canada and I appreciate that feedback and if they do something that you don't like guys I am here my email is info at lnn.digital let me know so that we can correct that okay it's been amazing <laughs> hanging out with all of you guys one of the best I don't want to end the video. I don't want to end the video. One of the best well, days in my no, life. I, I, gotta think. I, I think how many of you want to see on my channel? I, I need to do that. I need to yeah. like... For real? No, definitely. If I land there, mm, we'll maybe land. I should I should come no, to... We'll, we'll do it. I just want to know your story because yes. I believe that your story can inspire so many yeah. young women yeah. out there. For me, like I said... When you get time, I could take you mm. way all the way where I grew I grew up. You can meet my mom if you want. Oh, wow. Yes, I can take you where I grew up. Where the school I went to, so I could do that for you. When you get, when you are back, no, in I'll Kenya, make it. I'll make it happen. Yes, I'll so make it happen. That would be. A, that's, Let's keep in touch. Yes, and I'll make that happen. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate you, my people, to my incredible team that puts this work together. Muga, Rada. 
Nkofo. Imeku. Ref, you said the wishes the show was longer. Ah. Yeah. And my incredible team, that's oh, okay. my brother hi. there. That's a brother. Dan, yes. Oh, uh, Joshua hi. for being so incredible and always putting a lot of things you together said you for you missed, us. You missed her. Oh, sorry, Bernice. Ah. <laughs> Scholar uh, for helping in the production of this. I do not take your support for granted. Mm. And my editors, Kelvin Sam, for compiling this episode and making sure it reaches you guys right on time. One of the best days of my life. Wow. You can do it. Everyone can do it. Go out there and chase your dream. Make lemons out of make lemonade out of lemons, guys. Be proud of yourself. Content creation pays. YouTube pays. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't do anything, guys. You can do everything. Bye. Bye.